everyone to the second day of this uh, third conference of Baltic Art Historians. Uh, I'm moderating, I'm Jeremy Howard and I'm moderating this uh, first session. And uh, I'm going to be very strict and keep you to time, I don't <laughs> think, I'll try. So uh, we have, what, 20, 25 minutes each speaker and then uh, we'll have the questions like yesterday at, at the end. Uh, in this first session, we have three speakers, and uh, it's a very great pleasure of mine to introduce uh, Datsa Lamberger, who will talk to us about the age of symbols and the Baltic project. Thank you. Anna Meirovitz tried to achieve the independence of our country, he presented to the diplomats of France, Great Britain, and USA the album with reproductions of Latin art. Surely there were pieces by Jan Rosenthal, Wilhelm Furwitz, Johann Walters, Richard Zarinch, Theodor Suders, and others. The art of the leading Latvian symbolists at the end of 19th and the beginning of 20th century. Therefore, it seemed very logical to represent the centenary of our state with an art created till the independence because we would like to demonstrate that Latvians have had professional culture till the 1918. With the exhibition, uh, Symbolism and Honorable in the Fine Arts of Latvia, the Latvian National Museum of Art mentioned the millennium in 2000. In 2001, this ex exhibition was held in Prague in Czech Republic, 2005 in Szczecin, Warsaw, and Kaunas. 2010 and 2011 in Brussels in the exhibition hall Hotel de Ville and in Luxembourg in the National Museum of History and Art. Uh, the last event uh, was in 2015, when our museum participated with 12 artworks in the exhibition Symbolism and Decadence held in Sweden in Prince Eusen Museum Waldemar Schubert. Therefore, we started to think about the next exhibition of Symbolism, and our aim without doubt was Paris. Our dream already from 2000. The Latvians had always admired Paris, and for example, in the year 1907, the sculptor Gustav Stöter's rock. What was in the antiquity for art, Athens and Rome, that is Paris now. It is the center of the modern art, and has the leading role in the taste of the art. Uh, Baltic Symbolism uh, project started in the spring 2015 when the head of the Latvian Visual Arts Department, Ginta Gerhard Dupenitz, met in Paris the French historian and curator Rudolf Raffetti, who was really interested in such idea because he excellently knows the Finnish and Baltic symbolism. Raffetti is the head curator of the French National Heritage and presently deputy director at the Union of the Museums of France, and he has published the impressive monography, Le Symbolisme, what is translated into English too. Directly he advised to organize a common Baltic exhibition and first conversations uh, with the Estonian Museum of Art, the Lithuanian Museum of Art, and the Chulonis National Museum of Art started in May 2016. The board of Grand Palais in Paris had, has accepted the project of Baltic exhibitions in Musée de Luxembourg. But this question is, totally, is not totally solved, and therefore, all uh, 
all the conversations in Paris still go on. Anyway, we hope that this exhibition will be held in Paris in 2018, and we have started to develop the concept. <clears throat> the exhibition is related to the processes of the Baltic art during the turn of the 19th and 20th centuries with the rise of the national consciousness. Until the independence proclaimed in 1918, Latvia as well as Estonia and Lithuania was a part of the Russian Empire. But the culture of Latvia was marked by strong Germanic influence at the same time because the many clients of artists were the German aristocrats. However, at the end of the 19th century, the new generation, that of Rosenthal, Purvitis, and Walters, graduated from the Petersburg Imperial Academy of Art with the firm conviction that the artist had to be a true son of his nation and his age, a creatively independent person. When Rosenthal and Purviti settled permanently in Riga, the local Baltic German artists became seriously concerned about the increasing competition. Uh, in this time, in the cultural life, the art society uh, Kunstverein was important uh, that organized Baltic German as well as German, Finnish and Russian art exhibitions, including the symbolist too. The Almanach Jarbuch für Bildende Kunst in the Ose Provinzen published uh, the pieces uh, made not only by Baltic German artists but also uh, by Rosenthal, Spurvitis, Walters, Petras Kalpokas, Christian, and Paul Raud. Uh, even the Latin artists searched for the national identity they inspired in the art processes of Western Europe. Uh, which were marked by the symbolism and Art Nouveau. And now about the conception of the exhibition. Uh, it is divided in three main themes, characteristic for the symbolism movement. And the first is spiritual and mystical. It's connected with mythological motifs, legends and fairy tales. And they are included uh, two sub-themes, the national romanticism and uh, the decadence and the theme of this. The leading Latvian symbolist, Jens Rosenthal, in the, the paintings and stage design often turn to uh, mythological and folkloric themes reflected in both imaginary lyrical as well as pessimistic moods. Contemporary Raris noticed that Rosenthal paints stylistically in a very different way. It means from the realism till the art And uh, uh, this black serpent is uh, no very typical symbolistic work. Uh, this half woman, half snake illustrates a folk song about the serpent that ground meal for the server masters who forced people to toil from dawn till dusk. A possible source of inspiration that comes in ma to mind is the Swiss, Swiss artist Arnold Becklin's uh, seascapes with their strange and wonderful beings. The legend, uh, <clears throat> when 2001 our exhibition was held in Prague, this picture was used as a large poster in the city. Temptation. Rosenthal painted this theme several times. Uh, Arcadia. It is the largest in size Latvian symbolistic painting. The sculptor uh, Gustav Stilters was a rather typical symbolist, but uh, uh, his best works. Uh, it's pity, but his best works are only in plaster and therefore museum sinks to cast this work in bronze special for the exhibition in Paris. Uh, the French curator was interested, uh, or is interested, in showing the watercolors too. And, uh, here are some watercolors by Stilters. <coughs> National Romanticism is close 
closely related to the interest uh, in investigating national folklore and ethnography due to the rise of the national self-determination. Rosenthal's became acquainted with Scandinavian and Finnish art at the exhibitions in Petersburg and visiting his Finnish wife, Ellie, wife uh, Hill, um, Ellie's fossil family in her homeland from time to time. The flourishing culture of this northern land became an important uh, source of inspiration. Uh, Rosenthal held the northern lands painting in high esteem. He had a particularly uh, high regard for the famous painter Axel Galen Kalela, whose decorative style stood out uh, in the depiction of the national epic Kalevala. Uh, the links can be found in national uh, ideas and uh, the sort of decorating the facade of the Riga Latin Society building. Uh, this uh, decorative figural composition could have been a direct result of Finnish influence. Uh, Rosenthal's love to use subjects from folk folklore, and he does uh, uh, in the amusing composition after the first roster crow, uh, with this humorous depiction of the <clears throat> tail. Uh, early in the morning, as the roster crow for the third time, the devils must be back in the hell, and now uh, they ha uh, are in heaven. The devil, all in all, is a favorite character in Latin folk tales, and is usually depicted as a tool. And you'll see uh, that Adam Salks is like to, to, to depict in his drawings the stupid devil too. Uh, Rosenthal's stage design for stage curtain. Uh, Richard Zarinsch, uh, he was intended to make a series of 30 etchings, Latvian forests, but uh, he realized only six stylistically close to German romanticism. From time to time, the uh, fascinating word decadence appeared in the press and could be heard among uh, artistic cycles. And there were also several followers of the tre this trend in Latvian poetry too. However, the cosmopolitan worldview of symbolism, uh, of decadence, uh, did not attain such a diverse expression as in the uh, neurotic thinking uh, uh, urbanized Western Europe. Anyway, it's possible to find some examples. Uh, this is the Rosenthal's first symbolistic painting, and he turns to this theme time to time. Zarinj, uh, the tomb of poet, uh, is so typical for symbolism, but the idea was born quite simply when artists observed the flowering uh, bush. Uh, uh, the charcoal drawings of Theodor Sudovs reveal the author's perception of the world, his regard for broken fates of people, problems of life, and uh, the love for nature and life's reality and the desire to spiritually satisfy led uh, uh, the artist to so-called realistic symbolism. The man, it's the second part of the exhibition, reflects the main tendencies of the symbolist portrait painting. Also in this genre, Rosenthal was the leading painter. And the portrait of his fellow, Purvitis, with its emotionally saturated mood created by the young man's gaze, evokes associations with the world of demonic images of the German symbolist Franz von Stuck. Uh, but the portrait of Mal Mal Malvin Wiener Greenberger, uh, it's uh, 
uh, Rudolfly influenced by Whistler's portrait of my mother, which wasn't also in the Luxembourg Museum in Paris in 1998. At the Munich Secession in 1913, Rosenthal exhibited the fantastic tales from the age of decadence princess with monkey. Striking art nouveau features can be seen in the S-shaped form of figure, the flow of the oriental dress and the ornament carpet in the background. A nude by Rosenthal expressed depressive mood. <coughs> but when he portrays uh, his wife, and especially children, the painting becomes really joyful. Peter Scrastinch, Italian, and Theodor Zeikant was our first professional sculptor, and his woman's head is in marble, is really typical for this time. Nature motifs, the depictions of the rural landscape, full of memories from the childhood and nostalgic feelings, is connected to the rustic origins of many of the symbolist movement artists. Uh, Wilhelm Spurwitz's favorite motifs we are uh, uh, associated with a change of seasons in the Latvian landscapes, especially the spring so, and the uh, golden autumn. In 1905, the British art magazine, The Studio, one of the leading promoters of symbolism in Europe, published an article, article on Spurwitz affirming the originality of his understanding of creativity. Only for a fleeting moment, Purvita's painting was also touched by the spirit of symbolism and art nouveau. And his winter uh, brandly demonstrates uh, the, these art nouveau silhouettes uh, of the trees and the water surface. The moonlit night is painted with characteristic lighting of the long twilight hours of the north, northern Europe. Uh, some years, Purvitis lived in Reval, now Tallinn, and uh, he had some landscapes from this time. Uh, Johannes Walters. The plastic of Arno Wall appeared in Johann Walter's fragile landscapes too. Uh, the foggy lightning of the dusk hours in lyrical mood is achieved by a strange chalky white coloring. Uh, Peter Skrastinch. Uh, painted small pastels. Uh, yes, uh, Rosenthal's uh, painted some landscapes too, with landscapes with palms. And Rudolf Sperle. Life forced Rudolf Sperle to live in two separate worlds, working as a rubber uh, at the rubber factory uh, in Petrograd uh, or. Petersburg uh, after the Stiglitz Art School. And he had for the painting few free time. Perlis' work uh, with its fantastically content developed separately from the mainstream of Latin art. In Petersburg, he took inspiration for his ideas from the outstanding Lithuanian symbolist Mikolaus Konstantinus Julius. And yes, uh, he liked to paint uh, very uh, strange rocks. And uh, the uh, sharp edges of the rocks in this painting sun create a uh, uh, dispassionate sense of uh, foreboding despite the warm yellow coloring. 
Yes, and um, Rodolfo Rapetti would like to see in Paris the photography of the stand too. Uh, symbolists sprung from the cosmopolitan soil of the late uh, 19th century and its essence is linked to the universal humanitarian ideas. However, in the world of Baltic art, the movement undoubtedly became enriched by nationally specific features. The exhibition would be an acknowledgement of the interesting uh, versatile and professional art which was established in Estonia, Latvia and East Lithuania till the year of the independence. The collaboration of our nations started in the beginning of 20th century when Estonia and Christian Raud, Pau Raud, Hans Leikma, together with Lithuanian Petros Kalfokas and uh, Latvian and uh, Baltic German artists took part in the common Baltic art exhibitions in Riga. Uh, The next common exhibition of the Baltic symbolism is still uh, the project. Uh, but it's really clear that this, this exhibition, the symbolism in the Baltic, or maybe with one other name, will be held in the year 2019 in Estonian Museum of Art in Komu. Thank you.